Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, Legendary DLC Pack 2 or Legendary Pack 2 DLC for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 DLC 13 is going to be big. Now we know some certain things. We know some things for certain. We know that Ultra Instinct Omen Goku won that vote. So we know he's coming into the DLC pack and everyone's talking about characters, this, that, and other transformations, Awokens, and that's all well and good, but nobody's talked about the new clothing outfits, accessories coming to Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 Legendary DLC Pack 2 or Legendary Pack 2 or DLC 13 for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. And what's going to be coming in this DLC pack is going to be the Whis clothing set for CACs and avatars coming in DLC 13. This would make a lot of sense. Now, everyone has their discussions about clothing for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. We've all talked about hit clothing coming for years. Like, oh, we want hit, we want this, we want that. And I mean, at this point, there's really no one else major in Dragon Ball Super that they can actually make a clothing set for. I mean, we have Zeno, we have Hugh Zamasu, we have the guy of destruction set, and unless they start adding new guys of destruction, I mean, we have everything that we need there. We have Broly Dragon Ball Super, we have Jiren's pack. So at this point, there's no one else major. Now, if they wanted to, they could go down through the uh, Tournament of Power participation list and make some interesting clothing sets because just because they're side characters doesn't mean there were, you know, weren't any interesting outfits being worn on the battlefield. I mean, me personally, I would appreciate a really good looking Ani Lhasa bodysuit or something for CACs and avatars. I think that would look pretty good on uh, Freeze Race characters, in my opinion. But the major character that we have not gotten clothing for yet in Dragon Ball Super that started early on is Whis. Now, Whis clothing coming into Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 makes a lot of sense, considering that there's a lot of talks about an Ultra Instinct Awoken. We got Ultra Instinct Omen Goku coming for DLC Pack 13. That's confirmed through the hero vote. So at this point, for them to add a new accessory that revolves around Ultra Instinct and Goku would make perfect sense, i.e. them adding in Whis clothing into Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Now, the only drawbacks is that on certain characters, it's more than likely gonna clip. Like, I imagine it looking weird on Saiyans and make, you know, definitely Saiyans, because they have that awkward stance that they do, so it would pretty much be like Bojack jacket clothing clipping to the back of the legs or something, but maybe they would work that out. Who knows? But with the new Whis clothing coming into Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, the questions remain, well, would we get the wig? Would we get like a wig staff combo coming with it? I, I'm, I'm really getting tired of the wig aspect. I mean, I'll be honest with you, everyone wants the actual hairstyle for CACs, but that's another conversation for another time. But uh, it, would, it would make sense. I mean, how would you get it? You go, you do the training with Ultra Instinct with Whis, like you'd have a little city event with Ultra Instinct Omen, like, you know, maybe appearing in the in middle of the city with Whis, and you go through a training event to unlock Ultra Instinct for your CAC and Avatar, and during that training, maybe one of the rewards would end up being a uh, Whis outfit, just the entire thing, and honestly, just looking at it, it would be awesome for everyone to get to play with this outfit in the game. Now, the only questions remain, would it be for males only, and would we get something else with females, or would it be for everyone? Would it be for every race of characters? I cannot imagine this working on the Mechians. So, those are all the questions we have for DLC 13, Legendary Pack 2 DLC for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2, with Whis clothing coming along, Ultra Instinct Omen Goku, and the Ultra Instinct Awoken for CAC and avatars with perfection the natural selection